Hello, welcome to the queue for the recap of turn six. So we can go ahead and move that on to seven. There are two turns left in the game and there is the income to the best of my knowledge. Uh, all the techs are revealed. Uh, the Axis recaptured Berlin. Uh, they picked up the Mediterranean point and uh, reclaimed the third Reich point. Uh, so that gives them a total of 11 and they need one more by the end of round eight. So two rounds, they need to pick up one and hold it. Um, sorry, Bills fans. See you next year. All right, so a lot of action uh, going on uh, as this part of the game. But before I get there, um, there was a, a move that sparked some controversy. Well, not really controversy, but discussion, uh, people for and against. Um, there was, well, there is a Japanese sub here and an opportunity presented itself because originally the, I was sending the battleship, the transport and the sub, we were ignoring the Japanese sub and landing in Borneo. But our great, uh, comrade from the North said, Hey, why don't you send the, the big bomber, the big capitalist bomber down to sink the fascist destroyer? Um, so we did that, and unfortunately for the capitalist bomber, the fascist destroyer, got a hit, and they were all wiped out. Um, with that, that means that that destroyer could not block my movement to two unattended Japanese transports. Um, so I went to the rule book, because I've never escorted a transport with a submarine before, and the rule book states that it could any warship with a attack value. So that would mean all the ships but a carrier. Um, but there was some debate on whether or not the sub was a warship. Um, on page 43, I believe it is, in the BBR4 rule book that we got out here, um, it states that submarines uh, are actually warships, just not surface warships. And I thought, you know, there was still more discussion. Uh, it actually went to several different chats and people were talking about it back and forth. Um, and I even pulled out the uh, original manuscript and uh, right here in the sea unit section at the bottom here, submarines are warships, but they are not surface warships. So by rule, the submarine can escort. Um, is it a good rule? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's certainly not historical, but if you look at some of the other moves in the game, like the Toronto raid, where you fly a bomber and a fighter or, or two fighters all the way across Europe to hit Toronto in the Mediterranean, that's not realistic either, but it happens. Uh, it's gameplay. So first off, it's a game. So things that don't necessarily happen that would happen historically. So with that said, some good discussion there, um, and, and that is by the rule, so we're good to go there. Uh, the, that allowed the battleship to come over and sink those two transports. Uh, in the Southeast Asia, there was battles back and forth. Japan took S uh, Siam, not Siam, what is that, Sean State. They uh, also landed a guy, or moved a guy into Siam. Oh, it's Thailand now. Uh, so Thailand, went over Sean State, Burma, but the British took Burma back. Um, I did mark the Chinese battle because anytime China wins a land battle on the offense, that's a big thing. So they took Anwe back. Up north, we've got two big fleets staring each other down. We'll see what happens on the Japan and U.S. turns. Who makes the first move? All right. In the Middle East, no action. Uh, Mediterranean, we had some unattended uh, transports on both sides go down. Um, Italy pulled out completely, allowing the Commonwealth to come across to North Africa and South Africa, and they will all meet here, uh, I think, eventually. Uh, Italians just now took uh, Gibraltar. Um, it wasn't much of a battle, but there are forces aligned to come at it again. Or will they just all go north? Who knows? That's the beauty. Uh, we will see what Germany does, and then we'll see what U.S. does, because um, uh, 
bunch of my forces are loaded on U.S. transport, so I kind of have to go where they go. All right. Oh, in the last move, uh, the Germans in South America have been quarantined off here in Chile um, with really no look to escape there. Uh, there might be an opportunity to come out of Gibraltar, um, but more than likely, I don't think so. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And it is now turn seven for Germany. Good luck.